Hey, I only have about five minutes. Paul and Poppy are playing outside. He's going to work in like five or ten minutes. And Poppy's been staying out until like almost midnight, so I know I won't be able to do it tonight. Oh, she might. Anyway, I'm feeling a little aggravated with my sister. She's been treating this upcoming barbecue party. You know, we're having one. My whole family's coming. And then um, to celebrate their being here, we're going to have a barbecue at my house and a lot of people have been invited if everybody shows up it's 45 people um, I'm sure not everybody will show up but it's still a lot of people just my family because there's so many people in my family so it'll be a sizable amount of people humans in my home to be entertained and fed and so my, you know this has been gearing up since like May um, She'll, uh, she's my sister, like, she doesn't, she doesn't say, I don't trust you to clean your house adequately for this party, but it, she's insisting on hiring a house cleaner, um, and the, of course there's a part of me that's like, that would be great, you know, but there's also the part that's like, why don't you trust me, um, why, why, why does it have to, why does it have to be perfect? like to reflect well on you like of course I would want it to be nice and looking good and everything and uh, Paul and I can do that um, in fact occasions like this are highly motivating for me to do that it's in day-to-day -day life where I fall into a slum and I don't take very good care but I'm good at rallying anyway so that's been his thing and um, um, and then, like, last weekend, it was all about, like, you don't have good enough toy storage. And so she bought this cubby thing that's in the playroom, and she bought the dresser. And, um, you know, again, I was half, like, oh, this is great, and I appreciate it, but also feeling a little invaded and, like, a lot of stuff being brought into my house. It's like, I would rather just get rid of a lot of the toys than need more and more toy storage. So, whatever. I mean, I have mixed feelings all along the way. And now, the other day... She sent me an email that was like, I ordered beach towels and um, some pool supply, uh, beach supplies, uh, two sets of swimmies for Poppy. And I'm thinking like, two sets of swimmies, like she has her two. Swimmies are crappy. Swimmies do not protect the child from drowning. They're not considered a safety, safety device. Um, and like they're awkward and they're hard to get on. But... She had bought us a set last year, and one disappeared, and Poppy found one, and was like, I want the other one, I want the other one. This was last weekend. So I guess Carolina decided that Poppy needs more. But she doesn't check with me first um, about whether we really need that. She just gets it, and gets two pairs. Why? It's so excessive. Anyway, so Paul and I are, like, chilling out this morning, um, drinking coffee, and all of a sudden FedEx truck comes up, and he's like, oh boy, <laughs> here comes something's on its way and the dude brings in like box after box and I was like oh my god and so one box a big box is from the swim outlet so I know that's probably all the swim crap and it's a big box and the other box is from some home goods type store and it says pebbles uh, salad bowls and I'm like what the fuck she didn't talk about this with me I don't need mixing bowls or salad bowls I have plenty, and they're not plastic. In fact, last year or the year, the year before, when we had our first barbecue, she brought these plastic mixing bowls, or, like or to be salad and for salads and chips, I guess, that have been so annoying to me. They take up so much space, so much limited precious space. I never use them. I always use my glass and ceramic bowls. She didn't check with me. She didn't check with me. Do you, you know? I was thinking about. Do you need um? big bowls for the party, because like, I could get these, and then I would say, no, 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 I'm good, I'm fine. She doesn't check with me, and if even if she had checked with me, she wouldn't believe me. And the thing with the towels is that, we talked about this last week, I was I was like, I don't think we have enough beach towels for everybody, because the day after the barbecue, we're going to have a family beach day, weather permitting, and we only have like five beach towels. So she was like, oh, and I was like, well, I'm going to Savers this week, I can, um, I can get some towels, you know, like for I can pick them out and they'll be like 99 cents each or like two bucks or whatever and I'm in control of the situation if it's for my home but instead I get an email a few days later I ordered some towels 
so that for me that I knew about the beach stuff that was coming but the thing that set me over the edge today was this pebbles mixing bowls thing like that made me really really edgy and I was like I just want to send it back you know like but anyway but Paul's like Paul doesn't Paul's like uh, here we go again. Like he's not into it. He's not angry. Like he doesn't get feisty like I do. But he's just like, uh, like more stuff in this house. Like we don't need. We don't want. We didn't ask for. And um, so he's just like, ay, ay, ay. and he's like, he's like, let's just leave these boxes unopened. Like let's just like not open them. And I'm kind of with him on that. And I hate to be pissed off at my sister because. She is a wonderful person and so generous, but she has like a kind of like a manic, pushy side that is just so, can be so overwhelming. Like there have been so many times in this last couple of weeks where she's like suggesting these things that I need and like just for this party or just for this week vacation and I'm like, where am I going to keep this? And she's always like, in the basement, in the basement. And I'm always like, the basement gets moldy and stinky, and I don't want my basement to be a dumping ground for random plastic crap that you buy. Like, that's not, it's not just, just put it in the basement, just put it in the basement. Like, pardon my tits. We are trying to simplify and minimize crap. It feels good to not have loads of crap in the house and only have what you need or really like. Uh, I have to get dressed because then I have to go out and play with Poppy and Paul. It's gotta be work, so. But yeah, I'm feeling guilty for, I'm like mad, and then I'm guilty for being mad, because she's like the family saint. Just, um, just last, I, last weekend I was like, I was like, sometimes I think you're a little manic, like that you're on the bipolar spectrum. And she's like, no, I'm not. And I was like, well, you're spending like your money wildly and unthinkingly. I know you have a lot of money, but it's not unlimited money, and you're spending it like, I'm like, that makes me nervous for you. And um, she's like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. But I guess it's not my job to worry about her money. But it, I just get the feeling of a little bit of mentally unbalanced, uh, imbalanced about it. 